to our annual Not Scary Farm Halloween Hunt announcement event. Woo! All right, what's wrong with feeling? Woo! All right, are you ready to hear what's on tap for Scary Farm 2017? That's why we're here. We have a monster-sized amount of information to give out to you, and there's only three weeks until opening night. Only three weeks! save up to $40. Isn't that fantastic? Is that what you came for? We're good, right? No, no, no. Because if you get that, you, can, you don't have to wait in line for the rides. That's fantastic and amazing, right? And speaking of rides, let's check out Knott's Timber Mountain Log Ride. <laughs> concept art here. This is a taste of what you'll get inside. And it features an original song performed by Crazy Kirk and the Hillbillies. <laughs> you can actually hear it right now being played. It's really cool. As you can see, we've got this great concept art of all the things you'll see inside, including the Calico Coffin Creeper Band. And then right past them, as you go up the left hill, you'll see a familiar green witch conjuring up some trouble. And the best part is, you'll go out the other side, down the skull. Remember the skull? It's back. <laughs> and through a labyrinth of jack-o'-lanterns. That's the Timber Mountain Log Ride Halloween Hoot Nanny, a family-friendly overlay, which will be open day and night. <laughs> All right, question for you. Who out there already has their Scary Farm Pass? <laughs> A stupid question, right? They're like, everybody? Okay, so if you, if you, for the, the two of you that don't have it, this information is just for you, mom and dad. Here we go. With the purchase of the Not Scary Farm Pass, you will gain admission to every night of Not Scary Farm. You can be here as many nights as I am. Isn't that amazing? It's being, it's being offered in limited quantities. So it also, if you're a Kate Not Scary Farm season pass holder, You'll save $10 by buying it online. And again, it, there are only a limited number of these, so if you don't have one, you need to get one soon because they will sell out. Okay, and speaking of limited run, this is exciting. The first time I get to announce this. After the event tonight, as you're exiting, across the way at the Nautilus store, which is the Iron Reef shop, it's been closed and it's going to open tonight just for you. And it's a full Not Scary Farm store with all the merchandise that we'll be selling during the event. And every purchase includes a limited edition pin. And that pin is only available tonight. So once they're gone, they're gone. So don't hesitate, right? That's fantastic. All right. All right, are you excited to see what's in the lineup for this year? All right, well, before we get to that, I have something very important here. The folks responsible for these amazing mazes and shows are here tonight. We would like to give a very special thank you and acknowledgement to all the talented artists, technicians, costumers, and makeup artists that bring Not Scary Burn to life each and every year. I know, right? What am I talking about? Watch this. These fine, hardworking men and women 
toil in the sun and in the darkest of caves to bring you the scariest mazes in the entire Halloween industry. No detail is left untouched. Every year, Not Scary Farm raises the bar on what a scary farm maze is. While you're enjoying your Thanksgiving dinner, we're designing new nightmares. While you're opening your Christmas presents, we're starting pre-construction on the brand new mazes that will be unveiled every year at Not Scary Farm. If they do their job right, you don't even notice because you're too busy screaming all the way to the exit. Ladies and gentlemen, Entertainment production, costuming, and makeup is here tonight. Let's all give it up for them. Here they are. And if you know how hot it's been the last few days, they've been working on it. And so thank you very much. Without you guys, there'd be no scary part. All right. Are we ready to get to the returning mazes of 2017? Just be aware, there's a lot of information here. I'm gonna talk really fast. And sometimes the things I say are gonna go by so quick, you're gonna go, did I just hear that? Yeah, you did just hear that. So I'm gonna talk really fast, are you ready? First up, returning maze, I present to you, Tooth Fairy. for his food and wives to ensure his legacy. 
Yeah, that's good stuff, right? Oh yeah. None dare enter the barn for those who enter never escape the red barn. All right, new for this year. Guests will be pulsed through the maze to create a sense of urgency and you will really feel like you are being chased. Because that's what that thing needs, right? More urgency. We've added a new bungee scare and video effects in the maze. And of course, in the finale, it wouldn't be complete this year without real chainsaws. Yeah, right? I love this the only room I can go, chainsaws! Thank God the chainsaws are back. All right. All right. Next up, please welcome back fan favorite, Paranormal Incorporated. Who's here with us? Show yourself. Use our energy to manifest. Guys, I'm really not feeling good. Featuring high flying aerial stunts and scares, guests will investigate a haunted hospital where the patients were tortured for decades by the deranged doctors and nurses. Demonic spirits of the murdered victims have been detected through the mysterious walls while evil medical staff prowl for new patients to torture. It's like a visit to Kaiser. <laughs> That's where I go. All right. New this year, we have added new characters to the morgue, taken from last year's popular Zozo Key Room. All right, Paranormal Incorporated, man. Who loves Paranormal? All right, and who loves Voodoo, Order of the Serpent? Continues as guests follow him on his foreboding journey to conjure up the serpent demon goddess in the outskirts of New Orleans. Trudge cautiously through the cursed swamps of the Deep South, where creatures surf the murky bogs for their next bloody sacrifice, and demons curse the innocent with voodoo hexes. Who went through voodoo last year? Guess what we've done this year? New for this year, the entire maze has been redesigned and you will now go through it backwards. Yeah. Pretty darn cool. All right, next up, popular returning maze, Shadowlands. Shadowlands maze and fight off demon samurais whose souls are cursed to rot within the depths of purgatory. Guests will embark on a quest through a sacred shrine, an ancient Japanese temple, and into the midst of 
the Shadowlands. Say it with me. Shadowlands. Yes. New this year, we've reconfigured the first showroom and the forest and added a second showroom. We've also reconfigured the Shadow Temple to enhance the scares and highlight the oversized scare. All right, are we ready for the next one? Are you still with me? Headshots only! Special Ops! I'm telling you, 
And why am I saying that? Because next up is Carnival! <laughs> Any clown fans in the house? <laughs> On the boardwalk, the clowns crave your undying attention in the Carnival Scare Zone. This year with an all new carnival style soundtrack, although also this year there will be a maze themed to the scare zone. Oh, what did I just say? I don't know. Let's move on, shall we? Our next one, The Hollow. The Hollow re re returns this year and will terrify guests as you find yourself in the middle of a war between three covens of witches and their armies of the undead. Featuring story moments and a fiery finale, The Hollow is practically all new with a themed maze to accompany it. All right, those are the scare zones, folks. Are you ready for those? All right, so now let's talk about the show, shall we? First up, a favorite that's near and dear to my heart, the return of The Hang! There's its title, Fake Noose. It's gonna be huge, huge, great show. As you can see, you can see where we're going with this. The Hanging is a lampoon of every celebrity of the year. And the Hangman and the Lawman hang the worst offender by the neck. Last year, they hung Pikachu, for God's sake. So nothing's off the table this year. Nothing is off the table. All right, that's the hanging at uh, the Calico Mind stage. And right in here in this theater, I am proud to present, watch the video, the final performances of Elvira, Mistress of the North. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, here at Not Scary Farm. Let's hear it for her, the Queen of Halloween! Oh, I'm sorry, any Elvira fans in the house? She'll be here two shows every night in this theater. Get in line, it's going to be very busy. It's going to be the final chance to see her at Not Scary Farm, and we couldn't be proud, prouder to present her farewell performance. All right. We've reached it, folks. Are you ready to hear the new stuff for 2017? This is what you've been waiting for. It is my honor to present our three new experiences for this year. Trick or Treat Lights Out, Pumpkin Eater, and Dark Ride. Please welcome to the stage a man who has been a Not Scary Farm designer here for four years. He's designed some of your favorite mazes of all time. He's killed more zombies before breakfast than Rick Grimes does all day. Mr. John Cook! What's up, Scary Farm? Journey through an abandoned carnival ride where cruel carny folks still linger in the shadows of Dark Ride not Scary Farm's newest maze. The carnival has become a refuge for freaks and carny. Now those shunned performers have created an ominous world of terror which they plan to unleash on those who enter.
dark ride will lead brave visitors through a treacherous path and into the long neglected bowels of this once great attraction. It's everyone's worst nightmare. Being helplessly trapped inside a carnival ride without a way out. We have created the Castle of Chaos and Dark Ride to 1970s style carnival. Dark Ride. Guests will be playing the role of curious explorers who are entering into this Castle of Chaos and Dark Ride. They're going to wander down the track, show all the different scenes. They're going to step off through the emergency exit corridors into backstage scenes like maintenance bays. Even though it's supposed to look like an old abandoned Dark Ride, we're using advanced show control technology to bring this monster to life.
welcome back from the dead, Cherry Farm designer, John Cook. You thought that was the end of me, huh? Not quite yet. We have one last maze to share with you, and this one has been a fan favorite for five years now. However, we put a brand new twist on it this year. Scared of the dark? Returning darker and more twisted than ever, step inside the Green Witch's home by venturing through the blacked out building in Trick or Treat, Lights Out. Thank you. This is going on year six for the fan favorite Trick or Treat. And when Hot wrapped up last year and the creative team sat down, we were starting to discuss what we wanted to do for this year. Trick or Treat, we weren't quite ready to give up yet. Every single guest that comes to the room is going to be handed a flashlight. And what's really cool about these flashlights is that we can control them. We can turn the brightness up to help find a way. We can change the colors to kind of help uh, reveal different hidden messages within the paint. But we can also turn them off. You go first. Not uh no way, you go first. Don't be a wuss. Well then you go. Ugh, fine. Uh, ah, get off! Watch it! Whoa. Whoa. Dude, this is sick. I told you so. I wonder if that old witch really lives here. I don't know about this. It looks awfully dark in there. Don't be such a chicken. We have our flashlights. You broke it. No, I didn't. You're the one that- You guys saw that, right? Yeah. Let's get out of here. for Scary Farm 2017 this fall. Listen, if you have an orange checkered wristband, remain seated. If you don't have an orange checkered wristband, you can exit out the bottom doors. And remember that the Nautilus is open with all that Scary Farm merchandise, including the collectible pin. Thanks so much for coming out. We look forward to seeing you at Knox Scary Farm 2017, where the nightmares never end. And I'll see you in the...